How you guys doing today? Um, today's video is going to be really short. I'm just going to talk about a topic here, as you saw in the beginning of the title, is shipping um, prices coming back from different companies, um, whether it be UPS, FedEx, um, the post office. Um, just make sure you guys check your stuff before um, you accept anything as far as overage and stuff like that. Just, just make sure you check all that stuff. But right now, before we get into that, I'm going to show you guys something here. I don't know if you remember, um, I got two, two, um, orders going out that just happened. Um, one of them is a few videos ago, we'll, we'll say a while ago for the summer. Um, if anybody remembers these, these little dancing, um, bobbleheads from the Christmas story. Um, I went and I bought, um, this from, uh, I'd say a wholesaler. Um, the guy was selling them. I ended up paying like a dollar a piece. I got 14 of them. Um, I had only a couple left. And the guy bought what was left, all four. So all four are sold, gone, out of here now. I'm going to box them up. They are 42, 42, yeah, I think it's like $42. Let's see here. Yeah, 42 um, plus shipping out the door. The last of those, they're all gone. Little bobbleheads, Christmas story. And the last, another one was the National Lampoon's bobblehead here. Um, this one went for $8.99. This one I only paid like 50 cents for. But he was the last one of these that I had. Um, I only had like eight of those. So this went for $8.99 plus shipping. So that's out the door. Um, those are gone. All out of stock for those. So if anybody messes me about them or sees them on eBay... Um, they are being sold. They will be taking them down once they're, everything goes through. They'll be taking them all down. Um, but now back to the uh, <laughs> the topic. Um, I recently sold, um, I don't know if you guys remember, at uh, Middleville, we had a rummage sale I went to. There was a Teddy Roosevelt bear. Uh, bear um, it finally sold. I shipped that out. Um, it went for 13 and change for shipping. Um, I had it in the box that it needed to be in, the weight and all that stuff. It was a little under three pounds, but I hit three pounds on it. Um, always go, if it's two and a half or a little over or whatever, always go to that next pound when you're shipping anything because it does come back to you if it gets to a different facility and they weigh it and their scales aren't right. Their scales aren't calculated. you got to figure they're putting package after package after package on there to weigh it and make sure it's right. So they don't get gypped on the price. So always make sure you do that. I go go back in uh, eBay once I sell it. Make sure the box I'm going to put in is the measurements that I put in there. If not, change that. And if the shipping amount changes, then that's you know that's how it has to be. But do that before you ship it out. Um, but that came back to me, I want to say yesterday, and I got a message from UPS saying we had to upcharge you because of. What you sent was not the weight that you had initially said. I said three pounds. They came back with, it's it was a bear. I mean, if anybody remembers, it is a dandy bear, plush bear. They said it was 13 pounds. I don't know where they came up with the weight from. So obviously, I'm going to question that. I'm not going to settle and say, yes, that's, you know, let's just go through. Because their price now went from $13, and $13 cents, all the way up to $31, almost $32. For shipping that would eat everything what I sold for the bear I sold the bear for $22 or something like that I sold the bear for um, and that would have ate everything up I knew that wasn't right I questioned it and I did get a hold of eBay um, I let them know something's not right and I actually went through and you know told them this and this and and everything about the weight and all this stuff and the size of the box, luckily I, had, I usually write all that stuff down when I ship bigger things like that. I write the size of the box, the weight that I had on the scale, and I put it in in a little notebook. So if anybody, sorry about that, if anybody does this, write all this down. I mean, I have the weights and all that. I write them down all the time. After it gets received by the seller, I wait a couple days, and then I scratch it off. It's not something I'm suggesting people to do, but I do it. Only because I'm, you know, this is part-time. This isn't a full-time thing. I do it because that's just the way my brain is. I have to put everything 
right where it's supposed to be. But anyway, back to back to that before I drift too far off. Um, I got in touch with eBay. We went through it and we looked at what everybody else, what the other bears were. They were right on the same. They were between two pounds and three pounds. So there is no 13 pounds in that bear. And I guess eBay went to UPS, sent him a letter. Um, I believe it said, let's see here. Like they, they don't, I don't think they sent me the whole letter. Um, customer complained about the overage for um, the shipping cost. And we just want to see what the weight was. They said 13 pounds. Obviously, mine was 3 pounds. And this is an unjust um, measurement, unjust uh, amount, and we would like to refund. So they actually, I got a letter today saying, well, not a letter, an email saying, I've got refund my $18 difference. I got that back. It will takes a day or so to get back there, but I did have that back. Um, so please make sure you keep track of this stuff. If you're going to do this, even if it's part-time, even if you do one or two sales on there just to see it, make sure you, you follow the steps. Make sure you go through as much as you can. Make sure your measurements on the boxes are right, the weight on there is right. Because once you sell something, which I'm going to actually make a video and show everybody how to list stuff. And when you sell stuff, what it comes, what it, um, it'll it show you, give the option to change it if you need to. To change the size of the boxes and the uh, the weight. So if the weight might be less because you chose a lighter box or an envelope or whatever. I'm going to I'm gonna actually do a video with that coming up soon to show you guys how you can change that. How eBay does give you the chance to change that if you need to. It might be heavier, it might be lighter, so you can change that. So you're not getting, you know, the extra cost on your end. You're, it's going right through and everything's covered, so you're not going to lose any money on the shipping end. You're just, you know, it is what it is what you sell it for. Um, customer pays for it or you pay for it, however you do it. Um, but that is one thing to keep in mind. So that's basically what today's video is. Um, just to let you guys know, to be aware of that stuff if when you do sell and like I said, even if it's small scale, a couple things, you know, whatever you want to do, household items you got, you know, you want to downsize, get rid of your stuff. Just keep track of that stuff. Don't just say, okay, you know, it is what it is. It's it's not, it's, they make mistakes, you know, they're human just like you and I. It's, to be human is to, you know, to be error or whatever, however the saying goes. It's, you're going to make a mistake, they're going to make a mistake. Just make sure you pay attention, okay? So that's it. Um, thanks for joining us and... Just to let you guys know, we are at, last time I checked, 199 subscribers. We're almost there at 200. Um, I am going to do another giveaway at 500, though. I'm not going to do a giveaway at every 50. That would be, uh, that probably, you know, I'd be giving a lot of stuff away. But every few, but mile markers, I should say. But at 500, we're going to do another giveaway. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but um, I do want to do something for Christmas in the, in the month of December. We are going to do a drawing then. Um, I'm probably going to give a, kid, uh, a toy away to a kid. Um, so if anybody needs, you know, an extra toy, that's that's basically what this is gonna, the next drawing is going to be for. But the 500, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Um, I know I got to give something good out for for the 500 uh, drawing. Maybe I'll give out one of my Fenton um, items. Yeah, I got some Fenton glass. I might give that away. So you never know. All right. So thanks for joining. Going to cut this short and uh, catch y'all next time.